Hi guys, welcome back to Auto Mechanics. Today we're going to show you how to remove and replace the side window on a BMW E65 E66. We will be demonstrating on the front left door, but it will be almost the same procedure for the other doors as well. Stay with us to see how we're going to do that. First thing we will need to remove the door panel. In order to do that, there is a few like a few leads right here, caps that we will need to remove and one under the door handle right there so if you use a small prying tool or even a knife just careful not to scratch it you'll be able to get them out some of them are really tight if they've never been removed in the past okay you can see this one there and we did that because we have a few a few bolts there underneath and also we'll need to pry that airbag cover off okay you just pull it like that careful not to break the leather it is recommended to unhook the battery before you proceed okay now you need a Torx 30 socket or screwdriver and you need to remove that bolt that's under the airbag right there under the airbag cover and okay it's loose now but they won't come out so if you get the small pliers you can pull it out like that okay you can see what the bolt looks like and right here under this cover that we removed, this one and the one right here, we already removed them. It's the same kind of bolt with the T30, so we need to remove all two on the trim right here. One under the door handle and one under the uh, airbag cover right here. So remove all together four bolts. Now we now you need to get a prank tube or a screwdriver. You can get those really inexpensive on eBay. And there is a few clips, guys, that you need to pry. We'll show you where exactly they're located once we remove the door panel so you know exactly where to apply pressure and not to break them. Sometimes they will break no matter how careful you are. If, if they do you can find replacements we've purchased on eBay in the past and they're not very expensive. Okay now guys what do we need to do? We need to pull the top side this way. We need to bring it and we need to grab it and pull. And there is a few clips. Okay those ones right here. One, two, three, four, five six all together that are holding in this rail right here so most of the doors you have to pull up this one you have to pull to the side to remove it and now this is the door panel guys and we need to unhook all the wires and and the airbag as well and make sure that you unhook the battery before you proceed just in case because that's the airbag right there you don't want that thing to explode pretty much in your face okay now we need to remove the wire for the module right here so you need to press down right here okay and pull up it's pretty simple and after that we will need to unhook the door handle okay and you can just pull the door handle out of here if you don't want to remove it from the door panel that would be the easiest way to go and you just pull it to the side there, as you can see, that's how it is. And once you pull the middle part out, guys, it will come right out because it's just like a clip, the way it works. And now we will need to unhook the airbag in order to remove the whole door panel out of the way. Now for the airbag, you need to pull that, uh, that cover right here. Okay, you can see, pull this one up. Okay, just like that, and then you can pull the wires, but pull straight. Don't wiggle them because you might break them inside. Okay, and the cover right here, the door panel is out of the car, as you can see. And that's where the clips are located, if you need to see, guys, so you know where to apply pressure. So now we will need to remove that cover right here. And what you need to do, you need to get a 12, 11 millimeter socket right there. And you just need to turn them a little bit, probably about quarter revolution right there and they pretty much in snap and you can pull the plastic out but before you do that we will need to remove a few wires so stay with us to see what else we need to do okay you can see there is quite a few of those it's pretty good design and one more right here okay now we need to remove the wire for the mirror so you need to press down right here and then move this one right there, okay, just like that. And you can remove the wire for the mirror so it's not in the way, okay. 
So you need to cut those uh, zip ties and you need to replace them with new ones unfortunately lately. That's the only way to do it. Just careful not to damage the wires when you do that. Okay, one more out of there. And the wire is loose now. Now we need to remove that wire by pushing in like that and pull out. Okay, and it's out of there. And now you can see the whole cover comes out. Okay, the only thing holding now is the wires there. Alright guys, what we need to do before you proceed, you need to make sure that you have the window at that position about right here. And what you need to do now with the T30 socket, you need to remove this bolt right here. That's the one that's holding the window to the regulator. So unscrew this one and you need to do the front one as well. We already removed it right there, but it's the same procedure and you can see how long the bolts are just like that. Okay. And you can see the second bolt as well out of there. And you can pull it out just like that. Okay, now the window should be free and we should be able to lift it up. Okay, and pull it out of the door in an angle like that. Just careful not to break it, okay? You can see the whole window will come out. And that's how you remove and replace the side window on a phone door guys if you have any questions let us know don't forget to subscribe and give us a like we have a new video on our channel every day